Um, next up, for those of you who are thinking of using triple captain this week, I think the options are only... Uh, there's one big option, which is Haaland. Like, let's just be honest. Like, there's no one else. But if you're looking at... If you can't afford Haaland in your team for some reason, I think the next best option would be between De Bruyne and Diogo Jota. So just have that in mind. But I think in terms of playing a triple captain, this is a really, really good week to play a triple captain. And yeah, that is our guide for chips, free hit, and triple captain for double game week 25. And with that being said, now we move on straight to our captain picks. Yes, 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 yes. Yeah, captain pick. So, captain pick for game week uh, 25. Why can't I see my captain picks? I had made this list. And yeah, here we go. It's uh, game week 25. Um, number one is Arling Holland. Um, obviously, having playing Chelsea and Brentford at home, man loves playing against Chelsea for some reason. Um, he's already scored two goals last week. He scored in the Champions League. He is just on fire. So definitely, definitely someone worth considering captaining and even triple captaining. And then De Bruyne, one of the games against his former team Chelsea, he always shows up against Chelsea. Always, always shows up. Had two assists in the Champions League. The only thing I'd say about Haaland is because the games are like three days apart, he might not even finish that Brentford game. He might not even start it. So just have that in mind. That's the reason why I think Haaland is still a better option just because we are, I think we're sure Haaland is going to play the full 90 both games. And then next up, Darwin. Darwin Nunez. Um, again, someone who has two fixtures. He is playing... Uh, what am I forgetting? He is playing Luton at home. And he is playing Brentford away. So he's been on fire. He's been scoring goals. Like definitely, definitely someone worth considering as captain. He's hit the post a lot. But the one thing with the FPL is that you'd rather have a player who gets into good uh, areas to score. And that is something that he does so well. Then Ivan Tony. Um, next up, Brentford have two tough fixtures. They have... Uh, who do they play? Who do they play? They play Man City away. And they play Liverpool at home. But ever since he came back, I think he only blanked one game. So he has three goals in four games. He's already showing what they were missing. And Johan Visa is back. So he's not the main focal point. He's not the only one as the focal point. He has some help, which makes him even more dangerous because he has more space to operate in. So yeah, Tony, someone to worth considering as captain. And then in um, last place... Or they're not last place, but someone who is like a sleeper for me is none other than oh, his name is Diogo. Diogo Jota. The man has s uh, got seven points last week, but he is just, he, he's averaging, his form is 9.0. So 9.0 is the average of his last three game weeks. He's averaging 5.2 point, points per match, but the last three game weeks is averaging 9.0 per game. So he's just dangerous, dangerous dangerous man yeah so i think he's someone you can't leave out from your team generally but you also have to just consider having him as captain for game week 24 is it double double game week 